November marks Lung Cancer Awareness Month and prompting conversations about lung cancer screenings could save the life of someone you love or even your own. Now screenings save lives and thoracic surgeon Dr. Daniel Baffa joins us today to go over the facts and frequently asked questions that you need to know. Welcome doctor. How's it going? Great. Thanks for having me, Jordan. Well, it's wonderful to have you here on this important topic. So who is most at risk for developing lung cancer? And uh, in that question as well, can non smokers also develop it? So the majority of people who get lung cancer are people who've smoked tobacco. 87% uh, of lung cancer occurs in somebody who smoked. However, one out of seven lung cancers happens in somebody who's never smoked. So uh, sometimes lung cancer will run in families. Uh, so having a first degree relative that had uh, lung cancer puts you at risk. But there's also environmental factors like radon uh, and other environmental factors that contribute to lung cancer risk. And so who should all get screened for lung cancer? I know you said if a family member has it, anyone else though? So lung cancer screening right now is really for people who have smoked. So if you're 50 or older and have smoked, and even if you've quit, you should have a conversation with your primary about uh, lung cancer screening. And so what should people know when they talk to their physicians about potentially get, getting these lung cancer screenings? So the first thing is, what's the test? So the test is a CT scan. It's a low dose CT scan, meaning there's very little radiation to it. It takes a couple of minutes to do. You lie on a table. It's not uh, people that are claustrophobic usually don't have a hard time uh, with this. Um, and what is the impact? So screening will reduce your chances of dying of lung cancer by about 20%. So it's actually one of the most powerful weapons that we have against lung cancer. Um, and typically when we find it with screening, we find it when it's early, not only is it more curable, but the treatments are a lot easier on people at that point. And so what is some of the advances that are now going on in that treatment for people with lung cancer? So for people that are that are eligible for surgery, the surgery is through smaller incisions. People are recovering faster. We're taking less lung tissue. It's safer. Um, we also have new treatments uh, that can use the immune system or can take advantage of certain genetic um, abnormalities that the cancer has, but you don't have. So the treatments are really specific and really target in on the cancer and therefore causes a lot fewer side effects and are a lot more effective. We've doubled the cure rate for advanced lung cancer in the past five years. And so things are moving very quickly. So treatment is safer, more effective, um, and it's just easier on patients. Yeah, moving quickly and in the right direction. And for more information on this, where should people go to look for reliable information? So www.facs.org slash lung is the Commission on Cancer and the American College of Surgeon, Surgeons uh, website. Okay, good information there, and we'll have more of that as well on our North Dakota Today website. All right, doctor, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Coming up here on today's show, we know that this week has kind of a big day in it. That's all about food. One of the things you're gonna wanna have on the table, some bread and desserts. We have Bread Smith here, and we'll have the very latest from them right after the break.